their understanding of Torah cultivated a barren land where a new generation thrives. Once again, they are plagued by enemies who do not understand democracy, love, and life. Let us band together, Jew and non-Jew, to keep Israel safe and free to worship democracy and freedom forever. Thank you. Great note on which to end. Aren't they terrific? Every sorrow. Uh, we've been on the road together since very early Sunday morning, uh, traveling in Virginia and in Florida and now in Ohio. And at this point, because of the imperatives of the Jewish Sabbath, um, we separate. And uh, John is actually uh, going on to Nevada because he has a very important joint appearance with a guy named Romney. Who's going to be the next president? Uh, Hugh is going on to Columbus, where he's meeting up with uh, a guy named Kasich. Who's done some great stuff for this, for this state of Ohio, and another guy named Mandel, who's going to be the next senator from the state of Ohio. And then uh, Hugh is going on, trooper that he is, to uh, another swing state called Michigan, which, by the way, in the new poll today, is tied. It's tied. <laughs> and then, and then uh, he's meeting up there with our buddy Mike Gallagher, and uh, and then and then going on to um, uh, to Denver, which uh, another swing state. Fancy that. So, meanwhile, because we are separating the, the great sponsors, Colin and Tony and Jay and Barry, we should thank them all. They've made this whole tour possible. And then, come on. What I'm going to say is the, the guys who are heading for the airplane, uh, which I think is everybody except Dennis and me, uh, are, are going to have to make a very quick dead getaway. I am very pleased to stay here and talk to people and sign the books, <laughs> which, which, which uh, again, authors love to do. It is much easier to sign books than to write them. And, uh, I think everyone here can, can say that, vouch for that. And, and by the way, thank you to uh, our sponsors, and thank you to Mark Jaycox and the great, great people at WHK. So, we have treated to intellect, to humor, to heart, and most of you can hear three of these four remarkable spokespersons for the values we all believe in on WHK. Dennis Prager, noon to three. Michael Medved, three to six. Hugh Hewitt, six to nine, and our favorite representative from Hollywood, John Boyd. Thank you all. quick things. Everybody have a seat. Relax. Let them escape because they got to get to Hopkins Airport and we have no idea what the highway looks like right now. This Burger Airport was taken over by Rom just a little bit ago. You know, he was just talking about the, uh, about the lineup. Uh, you know, our lineup on WHK. And, um, 
About, uh, about six months ago, um, I made a change on WHK from 9 to midnight. And uh, some of you let me know um, in one way, shape, or form that that wasn't necessarily a great move. Um, about 285 emails later, um, I've worked with Dial Global and uh, Citadel, and uh, we're bringing Mark Levin back. And I'm bringing him back a lot sooner than I thought I'd be able to, because the gracious host of Dial Global allowed me to get um, out of Dennis's, um, Dennis Miller's um, contract a little sooner. Uh, Dennis uh, launched in March 1. We're going to keep Dennis through March 1, from 11 to midnight, but we're going to get Levin on starting November 1st from 9 to 11. And uh, I knew that would go over well. Uh, Dennis is a good guy, but uh, it didn't blend real well with our, with our style here, so that's fine. Um, and uh, Levin is a very popular character in this market, so we're very pleased to bring him back. And then starting March 1, um, we are going to move uh, the Dennis Miller show off completely, and we're going to bring Tom Kelly back with Kelly and Tom Kelly. Very, very popular lineup. I know you guys love that. Hey, listen, real quick, uh, we're starting to lose people here, and I know uh, Michael is making his way back, and I know the others are escaping out the back door here. I wanted to just, uh, I didn't get a chance to mention this earlier because we were really up against a tight clock, but uh, we have somebody else here that's pretty special to us that uh, is part of the uh, uh, part of a very special group of folks, Rob Frost with the, uh, uh, the Republican GOP here in town, um, asked me if I could bring... Um, the next, uh, the next person is going to be replacing Steve Lotteretzi. And uh, we have uh, with us a Jared County prosecutor, uh, Giant County prosecutor, Dave Joyce, who's going to be running uh, for the 14th Congressional District. Dave, come on up and say a few seconds. Thank you, Mark. I got to learn a lot tonight, too, and I appreciate the opportunity to be here. Thank you very much. Uh, for those of you might not know me, I've been the prosecutor for the last 24 years in Jaga. And on August 10th, I was nominated to uh, replace Steve LaTourette, the great congressman he is on the ballot. And I look forward to winning, but I need your help. A little bit about me, I'm an Irish Catholic kid, grew up in a family where my dad was a World War II vet. Came home, went to school on the GI Bill. My mom was a stay-at-home mom. And he taught us the hard work and faith and education, you can do anything in this world. I believe that. And I want that same thing for our kids. I still think America's best days lies ahead, no matter what our president says. I want to go, I want to, go to see to work for you. I want to make sure that I go after the budget. When I started as a prosecutor, the first year I gave back money at the end of the year, my sheriff told me I was stupid. Well, if I'm stupid, I must be really stupid, because I did it for another 23 years. And I'm going to go to Washington, D.C. We're going to do the same thing there with the budget. But first, we're going to get a budget, and then we're going to live with it. I also want to do things like wrap our arms around the deficit and try to bring that down. When I was studying accounting, and I was an accounting undergrad, the one thing we very seldom used was the B word, a billion. Now we're at 16 trillion. Hard to fathom? It's going to be hard to get back, but I assure you, I'm going to work day and night to make that happen. I'm going to get our arms around that budget. We're going to spend things on the money on certain things like defense and take care of allies like Israel and not spend money on people who hate us and not spend people who have our sworn enemies. We're going to attack them and take them out just like we did Osama bin Laden. If you say America, then you should pay the, the right price for that too. I am going to work to make America a better place. I want America to be the same place that we grew up in, so our kids can grow up in, and the next generation grow up there. Thank you very much. God bless you all. God bless America.